Hello, I'm Rainer Dizan. And I'm Angel Solis. And I'm John Dye. And our project is the Augmented Reality Motorcycle Helmet. Our goal in this project was to increase motorist safety. We wanted to do this by being able to display on screen on the inside of the visor information about the vehicle, such as the current speed and the RPM. It's this would increase safety by reducing the need to look down at the gauges, which could be a hazardous act. A similar product already exists, it's called Nubis, but it goes on the outside of the helmet and will protrude from the helmet. This can lead to problems such as drag when making sharp turns. And this clear case is the standard for our helmet. Like so! So the first comment we have is a microphone, and it just captures the user's voice so that we can use that for voice recognition. The second part we have is the sound card and it processes all the audio in and out for the BeagleBone Black. And this right here is the BeagleBone Black, the main component of, of our system. It does the image processing and audio processing, as well as the voice recognition, as I mentioned earlier. And this is the amplifier PCB, which is a two-stage amplifier with adjustable volume control. Next up, we have the Wi-Fi module, which communicates with the bike using CAN bus. And this right here is the screen, and it displays relevant information that we got from the Wi-Fi module, such as speed, RPM, and time. And the cool thing about the RPM is that it turns red when the RPM value get, gets to about 6.5K. And finally, we have the speaker, which connects from the amplifier, and it plays all the relevant audio from the BeagleBone Black. And also, from the BeagleBone Black, there's a speaking voice that responds to the voice commands. And here we have the Wi-Fi module. This actually connects to the CAN bus system via the motorcycle, and will transmit data back to the helmet. And next, we have the Arduino. While not technically part of the project, it's actually standing in as a motorcycle for our simulation. On the Arduino, there's an SD card. The SD card has a bunch of files of recorded uh, vehicle data that will be our stand-in. For this year's design competition, we'll be using the setup that you just saw to display all of our equipment, but all of the equipment has been designed to be put into a motorcycle helmet. Because with the motorcycle helmet, all of the padding is able to be taken out so that all of the equipment can be easily hidden within the helmet in an unintrusive way so that the comfort of the padding will stay, but also because nothing will be drilled into the helmet or uh, affecting the outer shell at all, the uh, safety of the helmet won't be affected. In this next part, we will show you the demonstration of our entire system in the clear case. You will be able to see the information shown in the screen, such as speed and RPM. In the bottom left of the screen, you will be able to see the current time. Also, we will demonstrate the music playback feature, as well as show other commands that are programmed in our system. For the voice recognition, we needed an initializing keyword so that it could start listening to further keywords. We chose bike. Our other keywords are speed to audibly play the speed, rev to say the revolutions per minute, time to display the time, play will start music playback, stop stops the music playback, gas shows the current fuel in the vehicle, and hello plays a greeting. Bike, speed. Driven speed is 85 miles per hour. Bike, rev. Bike time. Bike play. Bike stop. Bike hello. Bike gas. Alright everyone, that's our project. I'm John Dye. And I'm Angel Solis. And I'm Maria Dizon. Thanks for watching.